Hi, it's Mike with AskTractorMike.com. This is Sam, and Sam and I worked together for a lot of years here at SNH Farm Supply. Sam runs the shop here, and uh, I've got it. He's a service guy, and uh, I get questions all the time on my YouTube channel, and some of them I refer to Sam because Sam knows more about the inside of the tractor than I do. But one of the questions I get all the time is is this, and I know Sam's had this a lot. And the question is, my tractor won't start. What's wrong? And Sam, nobody can diagnose that with that amount of information. So I'm doing this video. If you ask me, my tractor won't start, what's wrong? I'm gonna send you to this video. Sam, what do you need to know, first off, to diagnose my tractor won't start? I would say the first thing that I always look for is, is the dash coming on? Is the ignition showing that it's got power? Do we have a good battery? would be the first thing. So when you turn that key on, does your dash light up to give me an idea, okay, it's at least trying to do something. The next step I'm gonna tell everybody is, are you in neutral? So you're gonna to need to look, make sure your clutch switch is working right, or that you've got the clutch pedal down, that you have it in neutral on the range control. Uh, PTO switch is turned off. That's a big, That's another a big, big one. one. Yep. And then make sure that you're in the seat. You know, most of them have seat switches that you need. It's a safety deal. It's there for a reason. It's to keep people from getting injured. And if you come back with everything's good, all those are met, normal operation, but you're getting a crank, but and then you're not getting a start. The next would be, are you seeing smoke? Is there something coming out of the exhaust? Then you kind of get an idea, okay, maybe we're, we're getting close but it's just not, maybe it's a cold weather thing. You're not letting the glow plugs run long enough or it's usually tied back to a dirty fuel filter mm -hmm. or do you have fuel in the tank? The gauge may lie to you. You may think you have something in there. Go and open the uh, top up and make sure there's fuel in it. But those are the first things that I, I look for is that it's got fuel, that the battery's hot, the dash turns on, all your neutrals are in, in neutral, the safeties are all set and kind of go from that point there. Now we're gonna break these down just a little bit. Uh, a after these, it's time to call a technician or get a buddy that knows something. Something, if, if, you, if you're a novice. Okay, let's start. I turn on the, the ignition, there's no dash lights. That's dead battery. You would want to think it's a, de a dead battery first. So get your battery charger out, jumper cables off the vehicle, make sure you go red to red, black to black, yeah. and see if that makes the difference. And if it does, you probably got a dead battery. That's your, your, an easy fix. But from there, it could be a bad cable. Uh, ground cables are known for corroding. If you open up your hood and you find that battery is just covered in green corrosion, let's start there. Take your negative off first, then your positive. Clean everything up, put your positive back on, put your negative back on, and you're cleaning it at the battery but also at the ground where it, the ground cable mounts to the frame. Some of them will have a main power relay uh, or a fuse so if, you know you need to check your fuse boxes to make sure that if it's a blown fuse something like that and then it depends on the product after that. If it is a blown fuse we need to find out why it has right. a blown fuse because those like a lot of tractors I think they have like a 40 amp fuse in them and if it blows out You've done something. There's a dead short somewhere. Yeah, and that, it's not going to go away when you put a new fuse. Right. In. Okay. On safety switches, uh, some of the things I see a lot of times people will be uh, out bush hogging. They stop, turn the tractor off. The tractor right. won't start again. Right. And that that would be your. We see clutch switches because the, they're mounted right there under the clutch yep. pedal under the platform. Great place to most of the time not get hit, but if you've been out in the briars and the brush and you're brush hogging, you're gonna hit it. You're gonna rip a wire off on that clutch switch. Most of your range switches are the same way. They're on the side of the transmission down there on the bottom and they're gonna get ripped off. So if everything was working fine, when you shut it off and then it don't restart, look under the tracker, see if you've ripped a wire out. And the other thing is even simpler. If you've left the PTO engaged, and that happens all the time. All the time. Yeah, just, just turn the PTO off, she starts right up. Right. Well, I want to talk about one other safety switch. A lot of times, if you're carrying a chainsaw behind your seat or something behind your seat, and you're riding over bumpy terrain, 
it falls down and all of a sudden the, the tractor thinks you fell off. That You've right. seen that. Right. It would be like a, a, a broken safety or seat switch wiring would be where you would want to look into, make sure that those wires are, haven't been broke. And they use such small, fine wires on them, it don't take much to break them in two. So that, that covers all the safety stuff. So if we're, if we're cranking and, and we're not starting, you mentioned the, the fuel filter and you know the easy thing there, you, you could have a pint of water in the bottom of the, of the fuel filter, right. check that. And then if, if the fuel filter is bad, replace it. Right. And then I have something floating in my tank that every now and again Finds its way to the finds its way to the top and yep. the tractor won't start. Right, and and usually you can tell by sound if it's not getting fuel. Right, you can if it's not getting no fuel, you're not going to see no smoke. Okay, that's kind of yep. the quickest, easiest, and that could be two sided, either a plugged fuel filter or something in the tank, or the electrical side of the fuel system. There is a little electric solenoid yep. on anything of a kind of a newer model. There's some of the older ones, if you've got an old tractor that you actually have to move a lever or pull a cable that shuts it down, that's a little different system. They don't want have electronics on it, but anything where you can just turn the key off and it shuts off, there's a solenoid, bad fuse, bad solenoid, or the bad, you know, worst case would be bad pump. Yeah. So all of these things we checked, it's time to call you. It's time to call us, yeah. It would be to come out and... What I would do myself would start with the fuel system, make sure it's bled out, make sure it's getting fuel to the to the injection pump, and then from there, see what it's doing. And then get a multimeter out and ch start checking all your safeties. And if you've got a short somewhere, those are a little bit hard to find. So yep. uh, it's gonna take us a little bit of time. And, and uh, one thing uh, resource people forget they've got is an owner's manual. In my owner's manual, it's got a complete wiring diagram. They don't all, but mine does. And if you're going to look for a dead short, that's that's it's get a that good thing place to start. Yep. All righty. Appreciate you watching. Hope your tractor gets started by watching this video. Here's a couple of other videos you might want to watch. Thanks for watching.